Hello and welcome to Road to Ruin in Crash Bandicoot 2. Let's do this thing. This thing. Thing. Oh, I love this music. I think the what we are looking at over there is the Road to Ruin entrance from another level. Actually, I'm going to just check back a second. Uh, does I don't know if there's gems over there. Uh, I mean, not gems. I mean, I don't know if there's boxes over there, so I won't know if we can get the box gem of this or not. But yeah, I just love this music, and I love the background too. I mean, it looks so peculiar. <laughs> the little rats that they've got in the level as well. This whole level is just so likable. And that head seems to follow you everywhere. These are lizards that have flight flame thing necks that you've got to slide into. And as you can see over there, that moving thing is a monkey. And there's a death fruit as well. Yeah, back here. There's a monkey that throws things at you. Oh, this is the music. I love it. Basically, I used to play this all the time when I'm playing Monster Hunter. Kind of like my fast-paced adventure music. I I also like the oop. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the log, so I kind of try to back out of it. Hopefully, it doesn't screw me over for trying to get back into it. Oh, that'll screw me over. If not, then this game's retarded. But what I don't like about the Crash games in general is that it's a. Ugh, is that it's a 2D. Well, not 2D. It's a 3D game with 2D aspects in a way because you you can be walking along these levels like the ones you're looking at now you know it could be like this could be on a linear path but because the game's on 3d you can be off center and because you're off center you end up walking the wrong way and this game is stupid because it has the death route active even when i've died i don't even get it Yeah, like this. These sections here. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway. Let's try and not to fail this time. Ah! Come on! Okay, so I think for that we've got to go one at a time. It made the most sense to go one at a time instead of trying to charge into it. So see how many you can jump before you get to the next log. That makes sense. I like those stones. I'll. I'll <laughs> this is just gonna be. I like this. I like that boulder. That's a nice boulder. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Freaking Eddie Murphy! I don't even know who Eddie Murphy is. Oh no, that was Alton John who was in um, Queen, was it? I don't know. Also, what would you say these masks are? They don't make any sense. I mean. Do they have like spikes on the side? Is that spikes or is that like one of those red hot laser beams <laughs> things that we see in later levels? Or, or is it something like the shish kebab in Fallout New Vegas slash Fallout 3 maybe? But I think it's called something else in Fallout 3. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, so ignore. Uh, 
Come on. This game is being cruel to me. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do it for real this time. For real this time. Come on, let's do the thing. That's supposed to lock in place. You're not supposed to be able to move. That's unfair. I'm down to 15 lives. I'm getting even worse. Ugh, okay. Come on, Crash. Work it. Work it, buddy. Work it. Work it. Okay. Get the apples, because I'm going to need them. Okay. Okay, we'll just go like this, because this makes it a lot easier. I don't even need this for the boxes. It's just easy to get the box gem right off the bat. Not the box gem, the um, death fruit gem. That's right, fuck you. Oh no. This level has sliding platforms. It's even worse. I like how they added this in though, the physics of it. And that's unfair how they don't let you see what's ahead of you. Once it takes you straight back to the beginning. No, actually, I think it skips you just ahead of the um, crystal. And I don't want to... Oh, yeah, I think um, in a later level, Ruination, they remake that scene, but they screw you over by putting <laughs> freaking... Um... Oh, God. I think they actually screw you over at that scene by putting... Yeah, the death fruit. Yeah, I think they screw you over by putting nitro crates in the place of the boxes that we just destroyed. You know, in the remake. Other level, whatever. Oh, okay. I actually think we're near the end of the level too. Hi, Massey. Looks like a rat, but I'm gonna call it Massey. Oh, Ratatouille. That makes sense. There he is. Uh, oh, it did messy. At least that was a checkpoint, I think. Was it? I want to start there, otherwise. There we go. Platform, platform. This level gets annoying. It's just like, who designed that section? Whoever they are, they are idiots. I mean, this is a pretty perfect game, in a manner of speaking, but... These levels, with their retarded bonus rounds, they just don't make any sense. Mr. Life! No! I mean, I've only got, like, 16 left. I've got a quarter of a full stack of items in Minecraft. Whereas in Terraria, you can have up to 999. Fucking monkeys! I think the box. Don't tell me I have to do the bonus route again. Hello, Massey. I don't have to do the bonus round again. Okay, so the monkey's over here. It's gonna jump over me. Yeah. Another one of those po Poke Minch lookalikes where they turn the um, animals into mechas or androids. Okay. And we didn't get all the boxes. Fuck. But there was that section at the beginning of the level where we couldn't get to. So I think we need to go into it from another direction. But that's besides the point, because we have done the level to our greatest extent. If not, feel free to correct me in the comments below. If you actually watch this, aside from Jason. And I guess we'll see you guys next time, or I shall see you guys in Unbearable. See you guys next time.